Hey guys, Marshmallow Trump here, back with another team build video, and today I had a request. That request was to build a bylong team, not focusing on breach like most bylong teams, but rather just focusing on giving bylong the strongest shot possible. So here is the team. I'll give you a quick rundown, and we'll have a look. So my bylong is max level. He is the ace striker in my main team. Uh, some pretty good passives, boost breach rate. That's whatever. Uh, I'm not playing a breach team, so this doesn't come up too often. Common on item drop rate, whatever. Shot attack plus 3% for same element players, cool. When different element players nearby, own shot attack plus 3%. So we're going to be building around those two basically, and then the passives of everyone else. Here are a bunch of equips that just juice up the kick stat to no end. And that's a glitch, he doesn't have Asteroid Belt. He has Dragon Drive and Wind, God, Wind God's Dance. They are both uh, wind moves, which is great. He gets the same type attribute bonus off a short stab. And uh, that's on dribbling and shooting. Dragon Drive's a really strong shot, as you can see. 250 attack. 240 on a dribble is insane as well. It costs quite a bit of tension. But if you need to get past one of those last defenders to take a shot, it's worth it. So let's see the rest of the team real quick. Firstly, the coach is Coach Hillman. What does Hellman do? After sub, the sub player's attack is plus 3% for 15 seconds, and then plus another 5%, and then for the first half, this is the important one, for the first half of the match, the team's attack is boosted by 25%, which means Bylong's going to be 25% stronger in the first half, which is great, and that's before you apply his own buffs and anyone else's buffs. So obviously, because different element player is nearby, own shot plus 3%, We've, we're playing this formation that puts the uh, midfielders on the sides and quite far back in the middle. Also, this formation counts the top three as forwards. There's some that have a top three, but the wingers are counted as midfielders, and that is important. If we look at the formation real quickly here, it, it shows us how it is going to play out. So the forwards are here, and this, this midfielder, which is Aryan for us, is going to be quite far away all the time. So he's not like, you know, the midfielder doesn't have to be close because he needs to be close to players with different elements. Obviously, Aryan is not a different element, so he's not going to be getting a buff. So it's safer to pull him further down. And also, Aryan is a bit more defensive than the likes of someone like Ricardo. Now, if you're playing one with a higher up central midfielder, you want Ricardo because it boosts nearby player's shot by 3%. Also, he does have a shot of his own. So that's why he's on the bench. Another character we can mess around with is Torch, who just boosts um three percent element player different element player shot, which is okay. So I think Tezcat does the same. Yeah, he does. So there you go. But that's not relevant. So or not not for this team. For your guys' team it could be. The wingers we have Victor Blade, who boosts himself by eight percent when near a different element, whatever. Um it's just a fire forward, pretty strong, boosts himself, lowers your foul rate, which is pretty nice, but also by being a different element, being that fire forward, this boost in Bylong by 3%. Then on the other wing, we have Xavier Foster, um, who boosts uh, for when same element players nearby, which we're not using that. It boosts 3% attack for same position players, which is important. We're going to be boosting Bylong here uh, by 3%. Uh, on top of the fact that Bylong's boosted himself by being near Xavier by another 3%, and then on the counter, if you get the ball back, for the next 15 seconds, your team's shot attack is boosted by 20%, which is pretty strong. What we could do with Victor Blade here, by the way, guys, is we could sub this for, like, Torch, so then he's getting the boost from a different element, and then getting the 3% for different element players, or we could put on Tezcat, or we could put on Axel. We could really just put on anyone here. We could even put Ricardo de Rigo as a forward, or Byron. It's, it's whatever you want. But just for the sake of this video, to spice things up, because I keep using these same few in every video, we're going to use Victor. Now, the midfield's great. Um, Sean Frost, different element, boosts his own shot power. He's got a long shot. Until the team receives a foul, the team's attack and defense is increased by 10%. So basically, we're lowering the foul rate with Victor and Gokka here. Uh, and whilst you're not fouling, your team's attacks are going to be 10% stronger. Um, also, when opposition commits a foul, you get bond power. Bond power is not too impactful unless you're building a full bond power team, but it does increase that shot a little bit more. So that bylong is going to be a little bit stronger. 
Aryan Sherwin boosts three percent the attack of same element players. So Bylong and Sean, perfect. Uh, bond power increase. So again, getting those like six, seven extra points of attack, quite nice. And has heartbeat, and he does get the. I can't remember what they call it in this, but I think it's called like Whirly Whirly. Eric Eagle boosts the attack by three percent of different element players, which is all of your forwards, which is great. Also boosting uh, bond power. Then we go to the defense. There's nothing really going on here. Uh, we got some bond power stuff, foul rate stuff, and Sam Gook is the keeper because he also messes around with bond power. So this isn't a bond power team, but we're using a few bond power passives in places where we can't get a more appropriate passive to still give a little bit of extra power to our bylong. With that being said, in Azuma All Stars, let's take them to fight the. Godhood alias masters, as we do in all our videos. Also, I did give them the alias kit, so... Okay, we've got the wrong team. <laughs> we'll be able to see the away colours. I hate that. It shows you a team in the team dark. Every time you leave and exit the team dark, it shows you that same team. And then when you go to play, it's just not that team. There we go. Alright. Here we go. Oh, it puts them in the away calls, okay. Fair enough. At least we'll see someone in the away colours. That looks pretty cool. We'll just skip through this. Of course we won't be using tactics because we want to show the power of the team and the formation. And let's kick things off. This formation also uh, really focuses on the sidelines. Basically just getting up. And then what we can do with that is obviously cross into the box to our bylong to get the finishing shot. Now we could have passed there, but I just wanted to show, look at that, that's insane power. He's getting boosted by Bond power, getting increased by Aryan, being near different element players. That's a, a lot of boosting. Okay, we got fouled. We're on 30% bond power, which is nice. And what we'll do... We'll send this to our winger. And bang it around the defense. Look at that, 600 power, that's insanely strong. I don't think that Xavier is even very high level. So, that's very, very strong. Obviously because of how strong Bylong was, and it was passed into him by Bylong. Lowering the foul rate, helping us out here. Okay. We got chopped up by that defense, that's okay though. Awesome, they passed out, that'll give us a bit of tension. You're a bit slow to take that for some reason. It's definitely pressed it, but whatever. Now we do have to be really careful here, because our keeper and defenders are really low level. But hopefully we can show off the bond power boosts that they're given. Now we could shoot from there, which is interesting. But what we'll do... Is we'll finish it with our main man Bylong. That's pretty damn strong. Now, obviously, I think, yeah, the violin gets the elemental advantage here, I believe. But um, against the most used keeper, Mark Evans, in online, um, Bylong would have the advantage, which is really, really nice.
Alright, let's see. This might be in just because of how weak this these plays are. Oh shoot, yeah, Defo. Why is it turned like that? Yeah, he can't even stop it. Level uh, 15 Samguk. He's not doing anything. That's okay, though. Because we're, we're just better. Our team's just stronger. Now, that's not fair. Basically, we ran into the goalkeeper because of a glitch. Oh, come, the same thing again, where you beat them and just go into an invisible wall. There we go. 8.24 and just that. Just a pass and a kick. Lovely. Getting boosted by Eric, getting boosted by Arian, getting boosted by being near forwards, boosted by being a forward. It's insane. There we go. That uh, lowered foul rate's coming in clutch here, making so many rough plays. That's not where I wanted to pass, but okay. Okay, okay, we got a bit of tension at least, and we're, we are in the lead. So it's looking pretty good. It's looking very strong. I mean, you're always going to do well with Bylong. But if you really like him... Oh, he's 18 with Samguk. Then he's going to be that much better. Now, we have to watch out because Coach Hillman won't be boosting us by quite so much in the second half. In fact, he won't be boosting us at all. So we do have to watch out. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get our big man, big man Bylong. And let's try hitting them for an outrageous shot down the middle. Now, Koma is probably going to get a spinning cut on this, unfortunately, especially because uh, we're using a fire shot. Oh no, okay. Gotta love the bots sometimes. That's pretty damn hefty. If our Victor and Xavier were like good levels, that would be insane. I misread that big time. Oh shoot, okay. If we don't foul, that'd be really nice. Hoo -hoo -hoo. There we go. That's goal number three. Awesome. I do like the alias away colors keeper. That looks really cool under Valen at least. Probably not so cool on other keepers. Okay, let's let's work around this defense a little bit, bro. Aim at the one I want. <laughs> okay, that took too long because it was. I'm not sure what it was doing to be honest. Okay, our scramble values are fairly decent. Now we'll get a fire move going into the wind forward here. Right on his head. 997. These are some really big shots. Obviously my bylong's maxed and pretty stacked. But for the others, they're doing quite a lot of power up. This is nice. Oh, okay. 
Mm, yeah, that is offside. So some of the offsides recently have been really, really rough. Like I've just not been offside at all. And it's been calling them. It's like I, I know my players haven't run from offside or something because they've been stood still the whole time. They just called it anyway. I'll admit they're close, but it's just not it. Uh, actually, we should have probably used Wind God Dance there for a technical combo. But in case he uses a move, we'll drag and drive, and this should be a fourth goal. Oh my god, yeah, definitely. Mm mm mm. Easy peasy, that one. Just a buy long highlight reel. Look at that, 280% on that bottom power thing on the bottom. Don't even know which one that is. <laughs> Okay, so if you use triple moves or block moves before you score a goal, you get this thing called technical combo up to three. You may have just seen the word technical combo one appear just then. Yeah, I thought this has happened. That's a shame. But what that does is it just increases the power of your next shot, which is pretty cool. See, it's still 141 after going through the tower. That's pretty damn good. Still no fouls. That's really nice. We're pretty fenced in here. Alright, Bailing's open. We'll just go for a normal shot here. That Aryan's really low, that's why it's like 70 kick. <laughs> or 70 attack, shall I say. And there we go. That's match. That's game. Very easy. If our defense was like 20, level 20, I think we would have not even been scored on two. So there you have it. The Bylong team. As well as some other characters that you might want to use, like uh, Torch, Aphrodite. Look at that, Bylong all the way. Uh, yeah, Torch, Aphrodite, Ricardo de Rigo, the likes. Also, my comma just got spin cut, I believe. So, that's everything I have to say about the Bailong team. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps. And even if you don't use this team, you at least get something from this video. Use some things from the team. Like, mix it into your own. And uh, yeah, have a lot of fun. Also, I really appreciate the fact that you're trying to use Bailong and not just going for a straight breach team. That's really cool. And I'd love to see and hear how it goes for you. And anyone else who happens to try this team. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave in the comments who you'd like to see next time. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.